Are you guys familiar with the whole conflict conflict minerals in Africa? Yeah, vaguely. Vaguely, I, I know the conflict diamond thing very well because I, I'm actually doing a little bit of research on that because uh, there's a, a horror short story that I'm actually set to start working on that takes place in that part of the world That's with that cool. sort of thing with some sort of creature on earth and that sort of okay. thing. But yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's a horror story. Okay, sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Well, um, a little information. Well, I have some information. Actually, I was reading an article in, um, it was either um, Time Magazine or US News or GQ, one of the three. Uh, send a check for those plugs, guys. <laughs> Um, and they were talking about this being uh, about it, it, it. And this was like two, three years ago, like about this being an issue, especially with the um, the mineral that's in cell phones, because cell phones are such yeah. like there's so much money getting from that people are making off of developing these cell phones and the minerals that they get. You can only get in Africa. So it's just like it's in, which, the, it's which, in the Congo. Which mineral are we talking about? Are we it's talking about like, the cold coal tin or something. OK, like so that, not yeah. like, like the lithium, because I know the lithium yeah. is hard to come by. No, this, well. this is the coal tin or something, the coal coal. I think it's coltan or something, coltan or something Colton, like that. Coltan, it's coltan. Yeah. And uh, this mineral is, you get it out of the Congo. So it's basically like where you would get these blood diamonds and stuff from, but they found mm -hmm. this other mineral and they're like, okay, this works with the cell phones. So it's, and what they're doing is they're selling them like to like Rwanda, um, Sudan, Tunisia, Angola through like on the black market, Uganda and stuff like that. And then they're making their way to these plants. Who are these corporations that are that are employing these so called warlords? Well to them they're buying it legally yeah. through other countries. Yeah. But it's the gorillas coming the, like out of the Congo. Uh -huh. Exactly. And they're using they're using the money to fund their little wars yeah. against each other. How come this has not been out? mentioned in the mainstream media? Because everybody uses a cell phone. Everybody uses a cell phone. It's it just yeah. Just, who do you think funds these media corporations? <laughs> if you ever want to find out where the trouble is and who's involved in the bad stuff, mm -hmm. follow the money. And in this case, we're talking about we're talking about sending this mineral to Asia and to China and stuff like that, where fifteen hour work days are okay, children like you know, like children working in these unsafe environments, that's okay. So it's like we're never going to be able to. They're sending this money back to Africa, to to whoever, and these guys are giving it back to these militias because these militias are, you know, cutting off people's arms for diamonds. They're raping like young children, you know, they, whatever it takes so that they can just stay in these mines. Why you know? isn't anything being done about this? I mean, we've got children uh, held against their will, uh, being forced to work in these awful environments and conditions because unfortunately nobody cares nobody gives it cares enough to say let's stop it and the people that they say let's stop it normally they're in they're in trouble you can't go to the congo and try to stop stop a mine and stop the injustice out of mine your ass will not make it back to wherever you're trying to go you will have a mudslide <laughs> A uh, tire or something like that, or a monkey give you some type well, of. Well, we need to some do shit. something. Somebody's come up with a solution. This can't go on. I, I mean, too I, many people are dependent on cell yeah. phones and whatnot technology. It's these minerals are used in anything electronic. So, I mean, if we stop the flow of them, we're going to be there's no more cell phones. Well, then yeah. what the hell do we need to do to not have this situation happen and have the damn minerals at the same time for these fucking cell phones? So everyone can be fucking happy. What do we need to do? Because you can. I mean, you'll never be happy enough. I mean, what do you do with your old cell phones when you get when you're done with them, or when you upgrade to a new phone? What do you want us to do? Whatever. You recycle. Yeah, you recycle. Okay, them. I'll <laughs> recycle them. Everybody recycle your damn iPhone. Don't let her watch you. She uses it as an MP3 player. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that beats buying an MP3 player. Yours. So <laughs> it's kind of recycling. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, I mean, you find a different use for it. I mean. But at the end of the day, I mean, glued pop sauce sticks to mine and made it a ping pong paddle. Oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad at all, man. I like keep mine around just in case it come back in style or something like that, you know? Yeah. Hey. Well, actually, there, there's another program Drink that takes uh, takes uh, your old cell phones, and those are the, like the rape crisis centers yeah. and the domestic abuse uh, centers. That's because uh, even though they don't work, uh, or they don't have a plan, 911 still works, yeah. so they give them to uh, battered mm -hmm. women. So that they yeah, have and that's also a good thing. Like an outlet that way. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, we need, we definitely need to try to, I mean, the government, whatever. Well, look, um, all these different um, countries and their governments uh, need to do something to... The best thing that we can do is just educate people. I well, mean, we have to. We have to get down and talk about the nitty-gritty of it all and say, hey, look, buy, buy this company. Because at the end of the day, you, you find where the problem is and you go backwards. You know, so we know that the cell phones, they work. But where is this stuff being derived from? Mm -hmm. And once we find out what the problem is, you can shed light on it. You know, you say, hey, look. But part, part of the problem is human human behavior how humans actually work um you tell you tell humans that uh a hundred thousand children are starving to death and it's not that they don't care it's just that that number does not equate yeah. it doesn't compute it does not it, it seems overwhelming and you're just going to turn a blind eye because it's just a hell of a lot easier you show them one of those hundred thousand children starving and they will want to do something. Yeah. They will take action. It, it's all a matter of finding. It's kind of like that commercial. Yeah. The commercial that comes on like 2 o'clock in the morning where the, the uh, chick's saying she needs money, like 25 cents a day yeah. or something like yeah. that. You and you're show like, oh, shit, individual I cases. Cents. That's the only way it yeah. works is you show individual cases. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's the same way. It's easier to empathize. Exactly. When you talk about, well, this is just whatever but you know when you talk about the budget you know nobody's ever seen a trillion dollars we'll never see a trillion dollars between us but yeah. there's this website that you can go to that breaks it down to what a trillion dollars really looks like and it's, it's like, bigger than yeah. the, it's bigger than the world trade center yeah. it's this huge stack of cash, cash like you on these pallets yeah. yeah yeah and the crazy thing is this is that it never really you know you have these guys saying oh it's a trillion dollars in debt and and this is spending and this is going to make another trillion dollars. You're like, oh, a trillion dollars isn't shit. And you're like, wow, it's hard to get to 100,000, yeah. 300,000, a billion. Now we're at a trillion. Oh, my God. You know, you really get to see how much this is. And then until that point, um, I, you know, because once I, I saw this, I like sent it to all my friends. And like, this is what a trillion dollars really fucking looks like. And I think the other problem, though, that people have with like budget issues is that, um, you know, when, when people like to equate a government's budget to a household budget, well, I can't run my household like that. Well, yeah, your, your household doesn't have a military and it doesn't have, like, you know, people on the street that it's supposed to be having to let's do something to try and look out for. And it doesn't have this going on and that going. There's, like, so many different things that a government has mm -hmm. that a household doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. yeah. So, guys, there's... Nice segue. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, what we can do to help these children in Africa? I think we just need to educate. We we okay. have to put it out there. Like shows like this, like my show, other people, we have to educate them about this because nobody really knows about the plight in Africa. Right. Africa is the only continent that has every natural resource that you need that you that you need. They have your natural oils, precious stones. They have every natural resource. And what these countries are doing with their different dictators is they're basically just taking that shit, funding these their little wars that they have going on, mm -hmm. and nobody's really worried about it. And I think it's a it's a great thing for you to use this as your sounding board and as your soapbox to say, hey, look, this is a problem. Yeah. And hopefully anybody who's watching this show will go back and say, man, you know, let me look back into this. And then they can tell their friends. And this is a good conversation to go around the table. And once you let you infect one person... Somebody else gets infected. Well, I think what we would we, we, have to do, though, is like on a show like this, on a show like yours, find individual cases and tell that one person's story. Yeah. Because that, that one person's story is going to connect more than any, anything that we're saying right now. Yeah, man. I like that. And what's your input on a possible solution? Do you have one? Education. Targeted assassination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, though, a lot of those countries. Those drones to work. <laughs> a lot of those countries, it's like, you know, they're, they're not necessarily dictators, but the governments there are so small, they don't have the resource. I forget what the country is. The They have an officially recognized government by us, the UN, and other countries, but the government only has control of the capital city. The rest of the country so, is just. Somalia. Yeah. It's just literally guerrilla warfare. Small guerrilla groups of guerrillas. What do we need to do around. to control the guerrilla warfare? But that, that's nothing that we can do. Again, America has to worry about America. We let the UN worry about the rest of the world. Africa is too big for us to try to go in and fix it. Shit, we've seen what happened when we tried to go fix Iraq. 
Mm-hmm. You see what happened? We tried to go fix Iran. Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam. Like, we have to worry about here. So these children are going to have to suffer for an additional 10 more years because we have no fucking solution. No, it's not that we don't have a solution. The UN needs to come up with a solution for this. Well, the the The, UN is is definitely part of it. I mean, it has to be, everybody really has to get on board. We we can't, we can't, we cannot go to someone else's country and tell them how to run their fucking country. When you look at our country and shit, we got kids here who are going to bed starving every night. We're paying farmers not to produce food to feed our homeless. Because We've corporations got, are yeah. in the way, they're lobbying. They're, they're lobbying. They're, they're saying, "Hey, look, man, you know we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this 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 corn from Panama." Right. So you guys in the Midwest, don't worry about uh, producing corn this year. Matter of fact, here's your stipend. Well, gentlemen, thank you for shedding light on the conflict, minerals, rebels, oh, and chels. One last thing on that, you know, whenever whenever I hear guerrilla warfare, sure. Not because when I was a kid back in the eighties, and there were always oh there's guerrilla fighting. Man, you were born in the eighties. Holy shit! No, I was born in the (laughs) seventies. Holy shit! uh, (laughs) Two times. (laughs) But growing growing up in the eighties, you know, like you always heard about like guerrilla fighting in Mm -hmm. in South America and all this stuff, and um, I always pictured Planet of the Apes. It's like what South America? Like Planet? That's where that's going up. Because like, <laughs> you know, he, uh, you know, so I, I super bad, bad, sort of bad now, right? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. So I had no as a, as a child. Mm. I, I did not really realize you're looking for the gorilla. You're like those look like a bunch of people. Right? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your gorillas at? <laughs> I'm looking for Charlton Heston. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you goddamn man, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Thank you guys for this uh, discussion. Some